today we are on a platform that I didn't even know still exists, Tumblr. <laughs> Usually like Tumblr stands for, I don't know, weird fan art, weird fan stories, weird everything. But I found an amazing Tumblr page that collects all of Howie Koshi's My Hero Academia sketches. And um, maybe you will quit art after this episode. Look at this, he's calling these sketches and he uploads them and i think he also uploads some of those sketches to promote upcoming chapters uh, and stuff like this wow love those so much he actually reacted to a drawing of Koshi, and what you can see in this video that his lines are so confident and then i read some comments under those videos where they said like uh, of course he can draw Deku, he's drawn this pose, he has drawn Deku a thousand times. Yeah, of course he has, but he actually is that good at drawing. I mean, look at these clean sketches and you cannot have a clean drawing, clean sketch like that if you like erase all the time. You will see it in your drawing if you erase one million times. He's like pushing these out and I think Horikoshi is one of the most mind-blowing artist because he has such confidence in his sketches you can see when he pushes out those folds or those lines it's so stunning to see i'm always super blown away wow look at the hair and oh my god you know honestly look at those hands and everything i heard somewhere that he just loves drawing hands and probably this makes him so much better than us because probably all of us hate drawing hands you know <laughs> i like drawing hands when i get lucky and draw a hand with, with a lot of luck i can kind of draw good hands but 50 percent are good 50 percent are totally horrible and then they will not get any better you know if i don't know the pose of the hands then my life is screwed but look at those hands and these hair wow and you can clearly see i think that he has drawn these characters without knowing any better that he did not erase anything on those. And you can see those lines. Look at the, the dynamicness of those. Wow, look at, let's take a closer look at those. These hair, wow, it looks so amazing. Wow, freaking hell. Look at this Deku, it's like, it's just like so perfect. And like, he's actually, you can see that he's shading over his line out a bit because he's probably like, Randomly, uh, just putting in some shadows and everything, some shades. Also, I always love his expressions. Looks so I expressive. Oh, perfect English again. <laughs> Who would have thought that expressions look expressive? Uh, maybe the word expression comes from expressive. Or the other way around. So bad. And you know, I don't know if it's only me, but when I see an artwork, a sketch uh, with... Um, where there are some Japanese signs on the side. It looks already so much better. Look at those expressions like being sweaty and everything. So freaking cool. And that's what I love about him that he can do these expressions that are outstanding to be honest. Outstanding artwork. Whoa. I feel like these shadings that he does here, they follow the form. You can clearly see that. So for example, when the perspective goes like this, he also draws the lines in that in this way and so he can build so much volume just with his lines and uh, whenever you usually see an artist doing lines like this it looks freaking terrible but he can use it to just shade his complete picture i mean look at this i think i would honestly i don't think he needs even inks in his manga uh, i think just having a manga just with pure pencil artwork would be still freaking incredible and these super dynamic poses as well. Merry Christmas. I love this. Oh my god, look at this little doodle right here. Just a fun little doodle but still looks so awesome. He randomly turns Deku's hair into a Christmas tree. Yo, and that's what you also can see on great artists. All of these great artists out there, they can just draw so good and so quickly so they can put everything that they have in their imagination down on paper. And out of that, there comes like some comedic like elements that are incredible, you know. Uh, I'm always just like blown away. Here's this grin again, but now this time it looks completely different, but still freaking awesome. Wow, <laughs> and I love this little grin right here. Probably spends some time on a drawing and then 
why not he just puts a randomly bad drawing in the background just to make it more fun i think <laughs> and that's so cool wow <laughs> look at this honestly if you would now ink this drawing um and put some colors onto it you can totally turn it into a full cover wow this gives me kind of toriyama vibes i don't know Toriyama, in the beginning of his career, he turned like, in Dr. Slump, he turned like every random thing into a character and they look also cool. I feel that's what Horikoshi is doing here as well, like turning a washing machine into a super cool character. <laughs> look at the dress, oh my god. Oh my god, there are some drawings, guys. Oh, super short ones, where he's inking, okay. Look at how quickly he's pushing out these these lines here these ink lines and if i do something like that it looks so freaking terrible look at this ah that's on comic con or something okay yeah i can only highly recommend to follow Horikoshi's twitter if you want to see a, a simple view uh, but if you want to take a look at his sketch collection i think that that goes on and on and on and on and on and i check back every wow look at this it's so incredible I checked back on this Tumblr like, what the hell, man, look at this drawing. That could also be like almost a cover. Yeah, if you want to see a collection of, <laughs> of this, I will put the links down in the description. Uh, feel free to subscribe to see some more amazing reactions and manga artists that blew your mind hopefully as well. And then guys, I will hopefully see you in the next one. Okay, bye bye and keep on drawing. Don't get discouraged by that. Okay, bye.